But Naomi said, turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Are there still sons in my womb that they may be your husbands? Turn back, my daughters, go, for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have a husband tonight and should also bear sons, would you wait for them till they were grown? Would you restrain yourselves from having husbands? No, my daughters, for it grieves me very much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. So who does Naomi blame for her misfortunes? She blames the Lord. The hand of the Lord has gone out against me. And here her daughters-in-law want to return with her to Israel. And is she encouraging them to trust in the Lord God of Israel? She's not. And why would she? She has not been trusting in the Lord God of Israel. She blames God for her problems, and yet she wasn't following God to begin with. Isn't it funny how people do that? They're like, well, God never did anything for me. Well, did you follow him? Well, no. Well, then why would you expect him to do anything for you? Well, God let this happen and God let that happen. Well, were you walking in obedience with him? No. Well, why then would you expect him to do anything on your behalf? You see, they have this expectation that God is just arbitrarily going to shower them with the blessings and the answers to their prayers when they have never yet turned from their sins and turned to him in faith and repentance. So there's this expectation that people have and they want to blame God for all of the bad things that happen in their life and in the world when in fact, they aren't following him. You know, there are those who look at the violence that we see in our world and the the horrible tragedies that take place and they want to blame God for that. So they expect him to protect them while they are rejecting him doesn't work that way. If we aren't going to respect him, then we cannot expect him to protect us. Does that make sense? There needs to be repentance. You know, people talk about, you know, the the, the passage that says, oh Lord, heal our land, right? They, They want to talk about praying that God would heal our land, but what does the passage say prior to that? If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven, then I will move my hand, and then I will heal heal their land. In other words, if we want God's protection, if we want God's presence, if we want God's power, then we have to repent and turn to him and humble ourselves before him. We can't expect the one without the other.